After camping in a baseball field at a spiritual center, everything was soaked with condensation. But there's always coffee to make it better. And this place had a nice pavilion to make it in. I say nice, but still not the place you'd want to drop your retainer on the ground. We got to camp at something spiritual center. I think this is a monastery or something to do with a church. It was really nice. It was just a baseball field, a big field, um, and we could set up our tents. There was a pavilion. There was a water spigot. There was even a shower. It was cold though, so I didn't use it. Plus you would have to put on dirty clothes. So not my thing, but very nice place to camp. Now I'm getting a late start. It's almost nine. But I'm trying to walk 19 miles today, but when I hit 14 miles, there's going to be a lake and that'll be nice to hang out, maybe swim, maybe get something to eat. So good day ahead. It's surprisingly not hot and buggy right now and I am just loving that, hoping it lasts for as long as possible. Now let's get to hiking. This morning I've really been trying to move fast in order to get to the lake and have a few hours to hang out. For a while it seemed like I was going super super slow, but I just checked now and the pace evened out eventually. So I keep learning the lesson that it's not how hard you're pushing yourself, it also has a lot to do with the terrain, but when I perceive myself as going slow that ref that lesson goes right out the window so just one of those things I guess but it's almost two and I have three more miles and then I think I'll stay till five and then go to the campsite after that I've been eating snacks not lunch which is not the best practice but I'll fill up at the concession stand at the lake. This is something so cool and I'm really glad I came across it when I was by myself. A telephone to leave a message for people that you've lost. I think that's such a neat idea to have that out here. It's by a flowing creek, so that muffles the sound of your voice if you're worried about people overhearing you. And that's just, it's so sweet. Nature can be really, really healing, and I'm so glad someone thought to put that out here. If you're wondering, I did think about making a phone phone call to my grandpa that passed away before I started the trail. Um, I would, but I would start crying and I just, I'm not in the mood for that today. Ugh. Oh, too late. Already crying. <laughs> I, I just miss my grandpa and I'm thinking about how Every person that walks past that telephone has someone they could think about calling, you know? It's such a universal experience. Loss and trying to make peace with that loss. Oh man, I didn't plan on so many emotions today. I just wanted to go to the lake. Opportunity. 
<laughs> it's so fancy. Jumping in the water and having the burger, that burger and those fries made me feel so much better. I wasn't having the best day because I was frustrated how slow I was going, but now I'm hanging with my friends. We're at the lake. Everything is going to be okay. I don't know. Well, it's five o'clock in five minutes, so I'm not leaving at five o'clock. Like I said, maybe I'll just stay here the whole time, but everything's going to be okay. There was an AT shelter at the state park, so when all the normal people went home for the day, the through hikers basically had the whole run of the place. We have some nice sand art, and then here is a spring. Look how cool that looks. It's super cold and so clear, look at that. Anyway, this spring runs all the way down and it feeds this whole beautiful lake. How cool is that? getting a late start yet again today. This time, I think it took three hours because for the first half hour I was lying in bed. It was like 5.30. Then I actually started getting ready. <sighs> it looked like I was getting ready faster than normal so I didn't rush as much. And then I was like, oh, there's a bathroom here. Oh, might as well fill up my water bottle. Just. One thing always leads to another, but whatever.
This is going to be my campsite for tonight. I stopped short of where my friends were camping. They were all kind of splitting up anyway, but I stopped short so I could spend some time editing videos tonight. It's 5.30 and I'm waking up early because there's eight more miles till Pauling and then they say there's a train stop either in Pauling or someone even said it was on the AT but there's a train that takes you into New York City and that's where we're going. My goal was to be on trail by 7 o'clock and I made it with 5 minutes to spare. I was so proud of myself for getting up early, getting out of camp quickly. I pictured myself passing my friends as they were still packing up their tents. But it's 8.30 and they all texted they're pretty much in town now. And I'm like three or four miles out still. And now they're gonna wait on me. I don't know, I don't even wanna go anymore because now I'm really worked up and anxious. I think I'll just text them, go on without me. Maybe I'll get a later train in. Maybe I just won't go at all. So I said that, I texted, you all should go on without me. And they weren't planning to leave till noon anyway. Man, sometimes I learn that people are less mad at me than I think they are. And that is so good. There really is a train station on the AT that can take you all the way into New York City. How wild is that? As for me though, right now I'm going to hitch because it's free into a town called Pauling, meet my friends, and then we're going to take the train in from there. Of this beautiful drive. Oh, it keeps getting better. It's, it's the town downtown. Town. That bike is very close to the start of the farmer's market. Ranger is about to experience her first ever cheese Danish. Ooh! Ooh, look at that cheese Danish! Ooh! Mmm! The crust is so flaky. It's very fancy tasting. Mmm. And the, I want to say icing, the topping of some kind. So good. So freaking good. Was it worth three dollars? It was worth three dollars. Nice. Now, our friend Trinket is kind enough to share his uh, is it cucumber lemon? Spicy cucumber lemonade. Spicy cucumber lemonade. What is that gonna be like? They say it's like Gatorade times ten. I'm scared. See if they got Wi Fi. It is like Gatorade times ten. It 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 really does taste like cucumber at first. 
And then it's like, oh yeah, I'm also spicy. <laughs> That's what it reminds me Blam. of. <laughs> Thank you. We're waiting at the train station, about to go into the city. This is so fun because I haven't been on a train since like I was in Australia, I don't think. You would think New York City would be exciting, and it was for the first five minutes, but the crowds were so overwhelming. We went to Times Square just to see it, and I felt like a fish out of water walking around with my backpack. But it was interesting and cool to see the difference. down at the hotel, took some showers, and now we're en route to get food. If you were to get a Japanese style beer, <laughs> After our last little look around town, I was exhausted and more than ready for a good night's sleep. Usually I sit down every Saturday night to think about the week and reflect back on it. Usually it's not Saturday night. Lately it hasn't been. It's been like Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. So it's Friday night and I'm going to reflect on most of the week, just so you know. How did the landscape and season change? First of all, let's talk about season. This is mosquito hell. As you might be able to see, there are currently mosquitoes swarming me. There's always mosquitoes around you or gnats. Even if you have bug spray on, the gnats will come and fly and try to get in your eyes, get in your nose, your mouth, your ears, whatever. Really not fun. Very sweaty, very buggy, and as far as the terrain, it's really rocky too. It definitely has lots of rock scrambles and rocks to step over. I was about to say I don't know if it's as bad as Pennsylvania. I guess it's not as bad, but it's still, it slows you down sometimes, and that's very, very frustrating. I think I've began to be able to articulate how this is different from the south, though. It's more, the, you can tell there's different plants because there's less sunlight, I think. For example, there's more mushrooms and fungi. There's more plants, moss, pine trees, different types of trees. Especially at the beginning of the week, I noticed there was a lot of mountain, not mountain tops, but like maybe the tops of ridges where it would be really rocky and exposed. That was cool. The general vibe of things going on with other people on trail, everyone is very frustrated about the bugs. Some days have been a lot harder than others too. Not only is it rocky, but in the past we're used to walking on ridges. Now it's getting a lot more up and down. We've had some hard days, but it's deli blazing. The past couple days there's been stops to buy fresh hot food and that's been really exciting. And not only is it food, it's also toilets, a place to charge your phone, trash cans, the luxuries. My favorite part of the week, it's hard to say because I haven't gone into New York City yet. I'm really excited for that tomorrow. 
but I really liked our zero day in Greenwood Lake too. But if I had to choose a very favorite part, it would be at the beach on Thursday. Once I had that burger and I was full and I was with my friends and it wasn't that buggy and I just got to relax. I was like, this is the best moment ever. So beautiful. I loved seeing the sunset over the lake. Oh my goodness. So cool. A problem I've been having that last week I said I'd work on is eating more. I've kind of done that. Yeah, now that I think about it, especially with deli blazing, I've had a kind of big meal for, I bought myself a meal for lunch and then had a north side. So I think I'm getting better little by little at eating more. My goal for next week is to work on putting on more Picardin and hopefully finding a bug net. It's so frustrating walking sometimes because bugs will be in your eyes and you'll have to be like having your eyes half open trying to like see what's in front of you but so frustrating. Ugh. Honestly it's kind of hard to think of one thing I learned this week. Um, yeah I think this is the first week where I can't think of one thing to say, but I'm always learning more about myself and pushing myself and nature and people. Always learning little by little. This week has been a challenge. It has been, but there's always so many happy memories along with it. And thank you for being here along for the journey.